What I want to say is my wife's first score was just a four. When she made 5.5 in one month with my tricks. Yeah, it's working. It's really working. And I helped some people and it worked, really. So believe me. Hello guys, I'm John from Korea. Today, I'm gonna share my experience and trick to get my score at PTE test. Uh, actually, this is my first time making video in English, so I'm really nervous about it. But yeah, I suffered from PTE like for a long time and I really needed the score so bad. So I had to study about the tricks so that I could have gotten the score easily and quickly. But briefly, I took the T test for six times and I made my score at six, six, this is so hard, sixth test. Anyway, if I share this kind of experience trick, people would think I got the fake score or something, but I really don't care because I'm here in Australia. I'm gonna share my score on the screen so that you guys can see it. My first score was 48 and um, my last score is 74. Listening 74, reading 72, speaking 87, and writing is 73. I already shared my experience at the previous video, which explains my strategy. So if you guys are curious about my previous video, just click uh, maybe here, maybe here. I'm gonna put the card on the top. So yeah, my first speaking was 44, and my last one is 87, which is almost 90, which is a full mark, same as nine. As you guys see me, my English is not that great as a native speaker or something, but I have a trick. I'm gonna share that trick too. Okay, it's gonna be really ridiculous and funny. I'm gonna tell the beginners about the, what the PTE is. PTE, it doesn't explain enough on the top what is about. It doesn't say anything. You just should get the directly, directly like the second you see the screen. So at the first time, it's really, really confusing and frustrating. You understand what is about. The other one is PTE test is based on computer. So you use the headphone. Position of mic is really, really important. Many people try to put the mic right in front of your mouth. So if I say people, you would have been able to listen sound. So it's not really good. It's not good position. So um, if you put here, many people like try here though, still your the breathing sound from your nose will record. So my suggestion is putting your uh, mic up here so that it doesn't distract anything. If two people have the same English speaking ability, they still get different score by the position of the mic. So yeah, that is really important one. This is not lecture. So I'm not gonna give you guys all the lecture of the taking the test. I'm gonna give you guys just short, important, super, super important, important tricks. Okay, I'm starting with speaking, yeah. Read aloud. Um, the difficulty of this is one star. I have a mock test a program so I'm gonna give you guys the example with the mock test. Read as quick as possible and keep the rhythm and you're acting like your native speaker have a feeling. Not read as a robot. This is not, not the test like that. Okay, read consonant clearly and make your mouth really big. Use your hand because you can feel the emotion up and down like that. At the period, pause, comma, pause. So here is an example. Many people try to fix what you already read it. Don't fix yourself, just keep going. Just try to finish all the sentence in maybe 30 seconds or something. People who don't have experience would read like this. Many papers you write, write in college will require your integrating a few quotes into your writing can add life and pursue Pursue a a sieve, something like this. Even though you don't know this word, just keep reading like this. Many papers you write in college will require you include quotes from the one or more sources. Even if you don't have to do it, the key is use quotes to support the point of trying to rather than just the space. You know what I mean? Keep the rhythm. Keep going. Skip something you you don't know. Skip something you made a mistake. Just keep reading loud and clear. Don't try to be perfect. 
Um, repeat sentence is you might not be able to listen and understand every single thing. My suggestion is if you listen to something, understood something, even though you're not sure about it, just speak it clearly. That's the way you can improve your English speaking score. International students can get help with locating housing near the university. International students can get help from the university student. I'm really terrible at this. In real test, I did it like this, but still got the full mark. You know what I mean? Describe image is really, 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 really important one. So here is a big, big trick. The first suggestion is making your template. You, I'm gonna share my template uh, at, I don't know how what to say. So I still remember what I did. The most significant feature of this chart is something. What I can see in this one, something. And the last thing, blah, blah, blah. And say conclusion. In my opinion, my conclusion is the trend is going up, going down. So make your own template and just memorize every single one so that you can just automatically say it. If it's chart, it works. But sometimes, sometimes the weird, something re really even we can understand kind of picture is coming up. Yeah, this kind of one. Building. And uh, some people might try to be really precise of this picture. Uh, this frame of this picture is a square. The tall building which looks like 50 stories is in the middle of the picture. I can see the building is too high to hardly catch in one frame. Beside of the big building, I can see red top short building which looks like three stories. It might be the church. And the other building is reflected by the tallest building. I, I can say the building is covered with glass. You are gonna try this kind of thing. I can't even do this in real test because I'm nervous chasing by the time. But my recommendation is like that. That is really big trick. I can see tall building. I can see short building. I can see short, short building. I can see the sky. I can see the cloud. Also, the frame is square. The building is square. The next building is has a triangle shape. And the building has a black line. It looks like 50 stories. The sky is clear and the cloud is clear and the building is clear and tall building looks nice. And short building looks really old the sky will be rain someday, something like this. Don't try to be expert, don't try to be a native speaker. They know you're not a native speaker. That's why you're taking this test. It's much better than you're just mumbling and you're not clear and try to think about something and have a gap. That's not good. Keep it simple. This is a huge trick, right? Uh, the answer short question. Who would you consult to treat a fear of crowded places? A philosopher or a psychologist? Psychologist. If you don't know the answer, just say last one. That's it. Just say it. A uh, retail lecture is about you listen and just retelling the lecture you just heard. So you have to make a template. Uh, I recommend if you have time between the other section, uh, just l write somewhere of your template and read it. Also practice quick writing so that you can write down your template somewhere. The template is the answer. Okay, let's talk about writing. Summarize written text. This is easy one. So take the most important three sentences, making three sentences into one sentence. For example, I like to go to gym. My wife doesn't want to go to gym. We are always arguing about it. So what I'm doing is even though I like to go to gym, the fact that she always doesn't want to go to gym is that we always have argument about it. I will leave all my template underneath. Write essay. You have to practice typing a lot, a lot every day so that you can speed up. There is already existing subject online everywhere. You have to practice all about the subjects so that you're familiar with the subjects. So reading, the multiple choice, choose a single answer. You need to manage the time, read the first sentence and try to get the answer. If you don't know it, um, read a little bit more. If you don't know it, just check it and skip it. Multiple choice, choose multiple answer. If you are not aiming like nine or eight, I recommend just 
pick any answer and skip it. That is my trick. Because if you get the right one and wrong one, you will get zero mark. So just pick one and skip it. You don't need to spend time for multiple choice, multiple answer. Sometimes there's two answers, three answers. Really hard to get all of the answers. Reorder paragraphs is the most important one. You can get the all answers if you have enough time. If you want to get like higher score, I think logical flow is really really important fill in the blank there is the reading part and the reading and writing part so reading part is you just pick the answer that is just your like ability read the front and back and just get the answer don't spend too much time there is um the gap filling questions in the website everywhere just practice a lot so fill in the blank read and writing one is you have to understand whole paragraph. You should have idea what they are talking about. The logical flow and conjunction. Also, you don't have to spend so much time. Just read the whole thing and get the answer. You're listening. So summarize spoken text is you summarize after listening to the the lecture. You have to prepare the template. Just try to get important words related to the subject of the lecture. You might need just five or six vocabularies to put into your template. That's it. Of course, I'm going to share my template. Choose multiple answers. You remember multiple answers? Just get the one answer, just anything. Or if you can get the answer right away, just get one. If you don't know it, just pick one and skip Go ahead. Fill in the blank. Many people try to type right away, but I recommend just handwriting because when you're typing, sometimes people try to correct it. It's kind of a filthy habit. Backspace and typing and it lose your concentration. So I recommend handwriting. Highlight correct summary. Try to summarize with your own words and get the answer which is similar to your summarizing because the all answers actually make sense. If you read them all, all make sense. It's really confusing. Choose a single answer. Don't spend even like one extra second. Selecting missing word. Answers are related to subject. The bars get shorter, 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 more concentrate. If you don't get the answer, just get the related to the subject. That is the higher chance to get the answer. Highlight incorrect words. You just click it, that's it. Write on dictation. Oh my God, this is the most important thing on listening. I always didn't have enough time. I always missed the write from dictation. So that's why my listening score is so low. So my recommendation is the sentence from the real test. It's hard to memorize all sentences but if you memorize all of them make your listening score so higher higher so my recommendation is write from dictation try to get 100 percent writing dictation section is high score item before getting this idea my listening was 48 and then i got 64 and 74 can you believe I raised I raised 24 points in one and a half months? Do you think it makes sense? I think it is all about trick. So make sure I memorize all the sentence from real test. So I hope you guys get better score and uh, the score which you guys are aiming for. So yeah, good luck for your PTE. If you guys liked my video, press like and comment and share this video to your friends. Uh, if you have any question, just leave a comment and I'll reply it. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.